Hello everyone, I'm Jake. This is my 2015 Camaro SS 2SS RS package. Had it for about five years now, and I like to say, or I, I think I have full bolt-ons. As you can see here, I have Cook's 1 and 7 8 inch headers. I'm gonna hop right into this. I have a Rotofab intake, cold air intake, a Moroso catch can, a little strut tower brace, a scoop by Phase Tech. There it is. That's it. Um, what else do I have? Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. I'm just going to list you some of the notable things here. Uh, I have, I've done a brake job just 10,000 miles ago. OEM Brembo's. Um, and out back, I got a Borla Attack exhaust system, which needs cleaning. And yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Uh, so far, this car has been nothing but spectacular. You'll probably see that in my review video, which I can link up above. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into this. So, the easiest ways to make power on this vehicle, in my opinion. Okay, everybody may have a different opinion. This is my opinion. Don't get mad at me if my opinion doesn't match your opinion. <laughs> okay, so... This car from the factory is reported to have 400 horsepower, 410 pound-foot torque at the crank, at least. Um, it is an automatic. It's a six-speed automatic. I wanted the standard at first, and uh, after some family things, whatnot, um, disability, certain stuff like that, using a clutch when you're, you have a disability isn't the easiest thing. So we went with the automatic. Um, Nevertheless, here it is. I have, I believe, in my opinion, I got the most power out of the headers and the tune. The headers and the tune made the biggest difference, in my opinion. Cook's 1 and 7 8 inch headers, totally recommend them. Here's the fitment. Got plenty of room. They were not that hard to install. I also have Cook's high flow cats. Let's see if we can get under it. You guys can see. Possibly. There it is. And then the Borla attack is just for sound. But if you're if you're looking for the quickest, easiest way to make a significant change power-wise, in my opinion, and get a decent sound out of it, it's headers and a tune. That's my answer. Um, the intake. If you're already going to spend the money on the headers and the tune, you might as well get the intake as well. So, pretty much. Uh, bolt-ons really I don't know how much else there is to do aside from maybe a supercharger if you consider out a bolt-on but the headers let's talk about the headers um the install is not that hard it's all in one day's work um, I also did the spark plugs while I was at it I'm using NGK spark plugs which I do have to change every 20,000 miles or so so I got to get to that I've had this set up for 20,000 miles just about now um, the intake I did a review on it, very easy to install, definitely makes a difference. You were able, I was able to hear it from the front end. I was able to hear the intake making noise before I did the headers. After I did the headers, the car got much louder and now I just hear exhaust and a little bit of intake here and there. But the headers, the one and seven eighth inch cooks to three inch primaries, uh, I, I believe. And paid around I believe eleven hundred to twelve hundred dollars for them with the cats and the install was super easy I reused the GM header gaskets and I be mainly due to the fact that I heard I was advised that I heard that the cooks gasket was known or known to blow out I don't know how true that is but the GM header gasket has been great. I've had no leaks, no issues, no, nothing like that whatsoever. My headers have not come loose in this time period. So that's that's a plus. Just I, I do check them periodically and uh, no complaints. The sound is amazing. <laughs> I really love the sound, but honestly, it comes down to the tune. If you have a good tuner, you're gonna make power out of your car with 
headers and your intake and whatever else you want to do to it. I believe, especially on these automatic cars, the tune makes such a big difference. The transmission shifts so tight, it's so sharp. Um, it's not like a DCT, but it 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 makes it puts a smile on your face. Um, I have two modes. There's the drive mode, and let me show you. We have drive, and we have M, or in other words, sport. So in drive, it doesn't shift as hard unless you're really getting on it. But in sport, the car shifts hard. It shifts very hard. And um, if you're going hard into a corner and you're accelerating out of that corner and you're in the S mode, S mode, I know it says M, but when you shift it into it, the heads up display shows S. Let me show you. It's a startup. It's my heads up display. I love the heads up display. I don't think I'll ever buy a car without it because it is, it's amazing. There you go. So, shift it into S. M shows S. Your paddle shifters, whatnot. Yeah. Um, nevertheless, when you're going hard into a corner in that mode, it holds the RPMs for you. It's not gonna shift to, it's not gonna keep shifting to like six gear. If it senses you want to play around with it, it'll hold the RPMs high near red line, 5,000, 4,000. And you'll have that instant power at all times. This is super fun, especially on the track. It's really nice. And yeah, I have no complaints. Here's a nice little sound for you. It's only, that wasn't much at all, 2,000 RPMs. I kind of can't rev it too much. I'm still in the neighborhood. But as you can see, it's amazing. The car idles super smooth. Right around 550, 500 RPMs. And yeah. So now you have it. If you're looking for mods that'll make power and a nice change on your car on these fifth gens, I think the best mod would be headers intake tune. especially emphasis on the headers and tune that totally changed the entire vehicle and overall I'm happy with it the car has been reliable I have zero issues knock on wood whatsoever no tick no awkward noises no creaks no air leaks you name it nothing the car has been phenomenal and I do drive this car hard so once again here's the headers install is not that hard intake catch can it just helps for long term um, it doesn't really add power or anything like that it just prevents oil blow by blow back blow by I'm sorry the whole PCV ventilation system and how oil gets into your intake manifold and dunks up carbon buildup stuff like that on your valves so overall I really love the setup I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to it due to reliability i'm super happy the way it is i drive this every day in south florida miami fort lauderdale traffic i take it on the highway you name it it's been through everything and i have zero complaints so great job chevy for making an amazing reliable car um thank you lashway s2 ss speed shop in a focus area boca areas of south florida for the tune um, and yeah, overall, the car is amazing. I have no complaints. If you have any questions whatsoever about full bolt-on setup, this setup, insulation, anything like that, shoot something down in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos. Thanks.